You got Clown College with the 25 bucks. Nick, I'm about to have a hot stepmom. My mom's... <laughs> Yeah, that my, Chris? <laughs> yeah. How old? Uh, my my dad. Step guilt. <laughs> step step grandmom. Step grandmom. My dad's talking to a smoking Polish girl, and I'm gonna meet her for the first time. Chris, as the resident old lady old lady slayer, how do I make a good first impression impression and get on standby if my dad fumbles? You what? know, that's how po Polish girls talk. Wh how they say like. I like you, I like to go out and have a drink, you know. That's, you <laughs> sounds know? like sounds like a Russian Portuguese. Person. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> you know. Shit. Well, this is a Chris question, apparently. Well, yeah. you gotta um, you gotta talk loud because they they're usually hard of hearing. <laughs> but I don't know if I don't know if this is the same age bracket we're talking about. Yeah, like how uh, old? <laughs> Polish he, Polish girls hold together particularly well, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're like the they're, they're like the black don't crack of whites. Polish. Mm -hmm. I can totally believe that. Yeah. Drinkers over there too. Yeah, they, and they drink. But their skin is—they're like the—they're the Korean skin of of, <laughs> of Northern Europeans. Yo, when you click like, it helps me help my daughter. We got foe tool with twenty. I dreamed of this reunion. Godspeed, MDE two, <laughs> North Korea, best Korea. All right. <laughs> well, North Korea is fake, right? Yeah. No, it's not even there. It's a film set. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. People believe this stuff. It's crazy. We got uh. The mortgage broker just hit me back. Time to start kicking some tires. I got the I got the commercial lender online. He's coming back. We're gonna have, we're gonna go have a beer tomorrow. We're gonna talk about a building. I'm gonna see how far the terms they'll stretch for me. Let's talk about terms, Tim. Tim, let's talk about terms. That's how you. That's how yeah. I get into the meeting. That's how excited you get? It's a grown man who's like the head of the bank of commercial lending that I uh -huh. got from like a friend. Mm -hmm. You know, like Rocky's pretty serious yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah. So a friend of mine hooked me up with like the head of commercial lending. He like runs a country club. <laughs> Tim, I'm talking terms. Credit's 480. I'm a mess. I'm going through a divorce. Uh, drug problem? Um, yeah. <laughs> That's why I start yeah. at like a, a quiet bank. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Set, set the tone. Uh, Drinking problem? Drug problem? Uh, I think so, Tim. I think so. Very messed up right now. Great credit score. Not a lot of money down. That's why I, oh, I love that shit. That's how my brother and I talk all day long on the phone. Just how bad we are of clients. Mm -hmm. Time to kick some tires. I don't know what I want. A mill building, a ranch, a lake house, a campground, a fucking restaurant. I am all over the board. But how much money are you going to give me? Man, you got any spare change? Please, man. Bushidoki with the $26. Are you a butt man or a chest man? You guys should know by now. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a butt man. I thought you were a titty fucking guy. Uh, my, favorite, <laughs> my favorite activity, and honestly, um, I know that all women love titty fucking. It's the favorite activity. It's the free. smelling of oily ass wafting up their neck while, while, <laughs> while, while a 200-pound man is rubbing a shit stain on, underneath your tits. <laughs> <laughs> well, while a 200-pound man is straddling you, rubbing a fucking uh, shitty ink marker all over the bottom the the of your belly button. button. <laughs> I know that nothing says sex like, t like a hot titty fucking session. And you see their, their double chin? What's that? You just see their double chin the whole time? Yeah, they're just dry yeah. heaving. You look up, they're dead. They have fucking black... Their eyes are... Let, they're like bug skitters, like the Independence yeah. Day movie. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, titty, titty uh, fucking goes down in time... In, uh, in infamy as the stupidest fucking thing ever done by humans. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've had this conversation with like... Like, uh, <laughs> like over dinner with friends. Like, it's the stupidest fucking it's thing so of all funny. time. Like, yeah, it's... Uh, uh, use your armpit. <laughs> Yeah. Put my dick in a headlock. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. Oh, man. Yes. Great job. Good. Thank you. Thank you, my 200-pound boyfriend. Thank you for that. doing the... I, w I hope... I wished you saw a video of yourself doing this. That's fourth base. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside the park home run. Yeah. False with the 25 bucks. Uh, yeah. I wore my Chamonix t-shirt to Tom's Restaurant, the Seinfeld Diner in New York. I bought a t-shirt in there and it also says make it nice on the back. Get out of let, here. Let, letting you know if you letting you know if you want to sue. Get out of here! <laughs> Why do they do that? Is it because I fucked his daughter? <laughs> it's me, Jerry! I can't stop doing it. <laughs> I tell you what I can make nice, a prom! <laughs> a high school prom! <laughs> Look, it's me, Jerry! I'm here with a date! <laughs> what? She's she's cool. <laughs> she's eighteen ish. <laughs> she's eighteen ish. <laughs> Jerry, 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 she's seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
What do you mean? I'm 17, you're 17. Chase Ford, 15, 14. What do okay. you I don't know. Freemason with a 50 Canadian, Nick, had a homeowner steal materials drunk late at night at the modular home development I'm landscaping at. Hmm. Broke his neighbor's sep septic tank and filled his front yard with way too much rock, no fabric, or fill underneath. Are there any theft stories from your landscaping days? Uh, no, just me stealing from Home Depot mainly. Damn, material disappearing? Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a, uh, so you have to put an insurance claim, right? I can't believe that he stole your, dude, did he steal your steel brick saw that you bought at a yard that your grandfather gave to you? Dude, steel. dude, he stole your, dude, I can't believe he stole your steel to a TS410 cut quick. 12 inch gas cutoff saw, the TS410, and he stole my extra blades. Who's gonna replace these? Well, actually, I think it was a TS700. Dude. And you can make a fake invoice online. You can give it to whoever needs to from the J and J lawn shop nearby, and you can Photoshop all that in. And you can do um you could I can't believe they stole all your tools. Bro, I can't believe they stole your there's like a fancy kind of chisel, like a mason, uh like a, a an artisan chisel. Yeah, there's there's like some that are like big bucks. Um, Interesting. Yeah, yeah. They stole these two. They were in a bag. They're not here anymore, dude. There was like the best shit. Um, yeah, they stole. It looks. It sounds like they stole some stuff from you too. Uh, not that much stealing. Um, I during high school. This is kind of funny that like all cat keys are the same, and you can like mm. that was like the thing you can steal caterpillar equipment really? if you have like one cat key. Huh. And a buddy. Of, like I, I always romance the idea of stealing uh, highway equipment. Yeah. From the state. Well, now I know how to pick a uh, combination lock. Yeah. Yep. We had our. We have a security uh, that we have a security at the office that. Yes. Master. A former. Locksmith. Killer. Yeah. <laughs> the locksmith. And uh, <laughs> we learned some things this weekend. I was in Maine, right? And I'm trying to get the scheme on the, how things are going on down there. So I'm at the, uh, I was staying at the Cliff House Hotel. This is a nice place. Um, I stayed there years ago. My wife took me, we had points. So we went there. The bartender's like a fucking, like a dipshit. Mm -hmm. Like a, um, he's a bartender with like a, um, hey, let's go. He looks like Ryan Seacrest, but okay. like jacked. Okay. Right? He's got like shit for brains. Yeah. He's probably my age, probably like 38, 40. Mm -hmm. I have like a, an, an effective questioning where I go like, hey, so where do you drink? outside of work yeah like do you go to bars oh we go to this bar i will i'll look then like that's the first question then i'll look up the bar and then i'll go do you rent places around here or do you buy houses i think the scoop a gunquit maine is a gay town predominantly gay super fun but everybody that's there has the has basically inherited family money and kind of people the stay gay, there. the gay people there you mean no, there's, a, there's a lot of gays there it's a, lot of, it's a yeah, big yeah. gay town it's a, okay. it's, so it typically vacation land city yeah. you know like boston Gotcha. You know, whatever vacation, big money yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's expensive. Yeah. So I'm like, is there? Where, I I always ask, where do the cooks live? Where do the chefs live? The bartenders blue, and the chefs live. No, where they rent their houses. Oh, okay. And they go, oh, I'll rent in Biddeford or I'll rent in Seiko. So I, I need I an see, answer on I where they go to. And I say, and then I'll have it. I'll have a, I'll already have a city picked out. What I'm gonna say? Why don't you rent here? So like, why don't you rent here? And they go, oh, that's not an because I don't know the area. I'm guessing. I'm like, I'm kind of like grabbing at straws. I get you. I get you. So. I'm talking to one, the, this girl was fine. The, the girl pondered it was like fluid. She had answers for me. She wasn't being whack. She was cool. I was like, you know, I was like, where do you buy your cocaine? And you're yeah. not buying it in fancy places. She goes, yeah. oh, I'll drive to this part of town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That tells me that this part of town is seedy. Yeah. Is there a bar there? Yeah, I can, is it a couple of good, like okay. above board bars that aren't shit bars? Yes. And then you start there and you can, okay. that, that's kind of like where things heat up. High level. Dipshit behinds me. So, like, you looking for a piece of property? Yeah, man, they're all pretty much sold. They're like a million. Damn. I wanted to fucking throw a full like Knob Creek bottle at his yeah, fucking head. Yeah, he didn't get head. what you were trying to do. No, no, you know he he like did and like thought I couldn't swing it, uh, and then I turned into like ultimate prick. He's trying to gatekeep almost maybe. Yeah, he was trying to be like, oh dude, it's pretty much like anything that was like three hundred thousand is now yeah. like five hundred thousand. And I'm like, wow, thanks for explaining the story of everybody on the fucking planet right now. Yeah, yeah. Wow, dude, that's some amazing insight. Yeah. Holy shit, did you get that by having big ninety IQ? <laughs> Yo, you got big ninety IQ, dude. Show me your muscles. And he's like, yeah, yeah they're I work out a lot. <laughs> I was like, fucking moron. Damn. I, want, I, I wanted to like jump. I wanted to do wrestling moves to him. I yeah. wanted to do like a cool Rey Mysterio wrestling moves to him. Well, that's good that there was only one asshole. Out of yeah, that was it. Everybody else, super sweetie, super forthcoming. 
It's um, good. Really like that. When you ask questions and people kind of get what you're getting at yeah. and they'll go back and forth with you. What I wanted to read to you was um, just a fun little joke I had with my friend Thaddeus Galleon from Mercedes Benz. Just an old friend of mine. Um, did you guys ever do this joke? This is a good, this is a good joke. Um, whenever you pay someone for uh, Venmo, you pay them for... Um, oh, yeah. Teaching me how to make out with a guy. Thanks, dude. You were great. Rimming a dog in front of your friends to be cool, but then in the end of it, the dog felt scared and tried to run away. Garden City Security saw it, man. You're lucky you didn't get arrested. Hanging upside down on the monkey bars to piss in your own mouth. Odd flex, but okay. <laughs> um, I used to... Paying people for lunch on public forums is so much fun on Venmo. You win, dot, dot, dot. Drinking piss is as good as you, says it was, as you said it was. A bet is a bet. Eating a big piece of shit out of the toilet in the middle of a busy Saturday when you guys had two ups. Uh, <laughs> sucking balls, sucking balls, sucking balls, sucking big balls, sucking bigger balls, sucking even bigger balls, sucking the biggest balls. Advice on how to French kiss dogs. You're probably the best I've seen and I want to know how to suppress my ego enough to admit it. Like you, that I have, that I like kissing dogs and stuff. <laughs> Eating out a cat in front of a party, a full party of deaf people while hopping around trying to stick your whole hand up your own ass screaming and crying about life not being what you thought it could be These are good man. so um crack smoke filling up the dump truck we stole after we burgled a house and got 450 worth of jewelry and a tv i like robbing houses with you thad you are my friend Sending nudes of your aunt. Man, these things are hot. Whoa, her body is better than you said, dude. I like her belly button ring. That's a nice touch. Thank you again, bro. Auntie is a smoke show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> being a lying little sniveling fucking worm, man. Thumb sucking baby diaper suck pump. Suck shit through a straw underneath a closet door. Whiny little stage hand doll playing 20-year-old oh that God. still calls shit poopy. Dude, <laughs> I have even banned from. Venmo. I don't know how it hasn't. And then one time, I went and sold like a fancy rug to like a really fancy art dealer from New York, and I was like, "You can just Venmo me." And then like the client was like, "Hey, can you um?" My client's really nervous about sending you money. You should see your Venmo. Oh my god! I was god. like, "Oh shit, my bad." <laughs> Gonna make a separate Venmo. Yeah, um, I'll read. Just read some more for you. Just just some fun ones. Um, this is that my friend Thaddeus from Mercedes. Uh, bowling. Uh, this is also fun. Bowling with a rubber-handed ex-pro bowler and traveling around in a convertible Olds 442, hustling games at local alleys until Big, Big Earn takes me down. In the end, at a tournament in Las Vegas, uh, working overtime on my ass, licking it and spitting on it, blowing on it, calling me Papa and crying over what a softy romantic he's become. Wow, this is so much fun. This is such a fun way to do this. Um, so please, you can steal that joke. Please do it. Fisting me so hard, I was crying for mommy. When it first went in, I was like, okay. Then he was holding me like a puppet. He was my master, and I was nothing but a human suck pump, a.k.a. lunch. So, uh, yeah, no, um, those are fun. That was just a fun thing I used to do. Um, free, free jokes. Please, free, take them. <laughs>